Okay, so let's talk about um, let's talk about a project. Let's say you have a project. Let me assume project of building, project of farming, project of reading. Uh, it can be different thing that is not than just a project. Uh, maybe you are monitoring stages of particular thing, and you want to monitor what is this, uh, the progress, or you want to classify as something as good, better, or best, or you want to classify something as in good condition, not in good condition, or bad condition. So let's 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 look at this um, uh, this aspect. You are building. You are let's say building. You are land. Then let's look at uh, the project. Maybe you're writing something. So let's just put random things here. That's what you want to man uh, monitor. How is it? So let me put start here and say something like um, building, uh, farming, land. Uh, let's talk about uh, oh, swimming pool. Let's just anything that will just come into your mind. Let's just use it like that. That's something you want to monitor. So I just want to like let you understand this. You can probably use for any other things you want to do. Then you should just check the value whether it is in good condition or not. But in that way, let's say you are working on buildings and they are building one. Let me use building better. And then you are building two, building three to let's say to building eleven. And let me also do the same thing here and turn it to flash feed here and I have the video in 11 and you are asked to monitor the status uh, status of a particular uh, distinct building and then the building you want to monitor should be classified into three different places and either it is in good condition or it is in better condition good it is better or is in best condition let's assume that or it is bad or it is worse worse or it is worse condition so this you can actually classify based on either it is in good level level one level two or level three or let me take about the status you have one story building two story building three story building and they asked to classify them based on which of the story building it is these are what you can do but let's use good better and best now for you to get the status of this and drop down you don't need to be repeating good better best you can make a drop down more than 20 or 50 depending on what it is so once you have the project or you want to work on which is a building you want to check the status so you need to go to data when you go to data you see down here where we have test to column now select this you see the white selected one then when you have test to column we'll be talking about this but let's start with this first then open this value and then go to list here now you see list here then you see here that you have your list what is the source let's start with good let's start with beta like beta and let's also go with best so i want to just put these three things in place and you see here automatically i have done good beta best so anytime i get to this i can just select good or it is in better condition or it is in best condition so on this what should i do i can just drag it to here so at this stage you see i can select good i can select beta I can select best. So this is exactly what I did here. And once I'm able to do this, you see, uh, once I do this up here, and then I have this. So what did I do? See up here, click here. You see, you have this here. One it is still empty. You have not selected anything. You can go here and drag so that you can have empty this in the way I have. You know, when I did it earlier, I was struggling with it because I drag better and all of them become better. So what it means is that at any point in time, if I select good here, that's automatically become better so this is how you can make it now now let's make uh, let's just make it look better now we use a conditional thing I'll return back to home sorry I click on this then I'm going to return back to home and I'm going to conditional state conditional formatting and I'm going to highlight rules and I'm going to equal to now in equal to I can say here if you want it to be in this way you can just select but I want to customize it that uh, here we should have good beta and best so good should be in red color and I can just go in here and type good and then I'll click OK so if I select this thing as good 
what happened it turns red now the same thing i am going to do for my thing i will return back to the same place where i highlight rules go to equal to and then i'll have beta so i want to put beta oh shit sorry i am returning back and i'm going back to conditional this and then back to where i am i want the rest to like say beta and i want to put it in a color that i want so i'm going to put it beta and then i'm going to open up here goes to customize i want to put the beta in yellow color and click ok and then i'll click this and the next thing i need to do is to repeat the same condition formatting go to the highlight save rules go to equal to and i can put here as best and let's put best as green so you go here customize and i can now put it in green as this click ok and click ok now with this i can drag it down to here now remember what is happening here because i select the other one so you can see here you see better i click on this and then you see best it turns to green so this is exactly what you are going to do remember for you not to make it look like all of them remember what i did earlier so i'm going to go back a bit to step backward where i don't have anything you know here there is no conditioner and this is empty see here the i have good so i have to make do these things formatting so the conditional formatting have to be when you don't have any so that it will not generalize it so you go to equal to so you do, put up when it is good then let it be changed to color of red then you click ok and you click ok and you come back again conditional formatting go to the same place again and say when it is better make it in yellow so you open up here you customize depending on the color you want and then you click ok and you click ok or when it is best if you turn the same place do the same thing for the colors you want as many as you want it so i'm going to the best and i want the best to be in the color i go to customize i want it to be green color and i'll click ok and then i'll click ok now this have not done anything so you are not going to you're just going to drag and go down here and you see now that is not filling it with good beta by so means once you are done once you come here and say beta tends to yellow come here open up beta it tends to yellow and when you come here best it change to green come here make it good it change to red so this is a way you can work using a drop down see the way it is so once you select that automatically works better and then you select all of them and let's go to this and make it best and then make to this and make it good and make to this and make it good so this is the way you are going to get it done so if you have any question you can kindly of ask me but this is how you can get this done and make it as many as you want so now it's time for you to ask question